Greetings everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're having a look at the new rendering pipeline, actually the lightweight rendering pipeline, but we have a 2D experimental mode today that lets us have light in it. And it's quite cool. So if you have a look over here, all these sprites you see are using the um, the new shaders, the 2D rendering pipeline. And um, sorry about the dog in the background, but I have a light over here. So I have a point light, I have global light, I have all the same stuff you have in 3D. And as you can see, it affects everything. So I can move around like so. It also affects the particle in the background. And uh, it's quite cool. So we're going to be having a look at that today. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to have a couple of requirements. The requirements for this to work are quite simple. All you have to do is download the newest version of Unity, which is right now 2019.3. I think this is from 0.2 actually, but I'm using 0.3. I recommend that you use 0.2 um, because there might be some other problems in 0.3 that I ran into. but. Um, guys, go ahead, download that, and we'll get right into the video. So starting off, I have this project over here using Unity 2019.3, so that's the one I'm running in the background. Um, if you want to be using this experimental feature, this experimental package, you will need to install a new version of Unity, so I think it's from 2019.2 and beyond. Um, I'm using 2019.3, as you can see over here, but the point .2 also works. So my project is open in the background over here. If I'd like to install this new pipeline, well, first I have to enable the uh, lightweight rendering pipeline in my project, which is not, not done at the moment. So I'll head over to Window, Package Manager, and over here we'll be able to find, well, nothing right now because it's, it's only selecting um, the package that are in this project right here. So I'm going to toggle all package. You can go ahead and type in the lightweight. You're looking for the version 6.7 and of course beyond that if you're a little bit in the future. Now make sure you click on this one and I'm going to be installing it using this button down here. So once you have the lightweight rendering pipeline completed, once it's installed, um, right now since it's experimental you might have some little bugs. Like right here I have a problem in which um, this error won't go away. I can't even start the game with it. I can't go ahead and create myself a new rendering pipeline. I don't have those options. And that's because I'll need to have a reboot. Now, I don't know what causes this, but of course, we're gonna have to shut this one down. So let me go ahead and close this project and we will reopen it. And it is being reopened right now in Unity Hub. So it's loading and here we go. So we do have the same exact x86 error, which I can't fix, but everything else seems to be fine. We can still run the game. It starts, it means it went through successfully. Um, of course, there's a lot of these errors. <laughs> That's uh, that's the deal with the experimental feature. You're going to run into a bunch of those, but they don't cause any breaking problem. So now that this is completed, I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new folder. I'll call it something like pipeline, um, just something so I can throw my new files in there. Now it's very important that you do create those new files. So let's go ahead and right click, create rendering, lightweight rendering pipeline and we want the pipeline asset. So I'll just call this 2D render. I'm really not that familiar with it. I'm just exploring this option with you guys today. So we can go ahead and do the same thing, rendering lightweight pipeline, and then we'll use the 2D renderer. Um, custom renderer. So what we have to do over here, we have to head over to the inspector on the right hand side, set our renderer type to custom and use this one that we just created. So use this new custom renderer, drag and drop this in here. And then from that point on, everything will be set. What you have to do at that point is, uh, well, you have it as a custom renderer. So you can actually go and start implementing some of that in, in the game. So if I am to head over to say my, my game scene or my menu scene for that matter, here it is, all of these they're all sprites that use the default sprite material. As you can see over here, that's a UI, so that's a default UI. Um, but if we head over to the game, say over here, that is a sprite, so sprite default. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna be able to create a new material that will be using this uh, new default pipeline. So all of these, they use the sprite default material, and I'd like to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new material. I'm going to call it something like um, 2D rendering uh, default, something like that. I'm not quite sure exactly. We might need more shader in the future, um, but I'll take this object and I'll drag and drop this thing on it. So now this is a 2D rendering default object. It's being rendered using the 2D rendering default 
material that I've just created. Now it's very important that we head over here on the shader and we actually select that um, lightweight rendering pipeline. So what we chose earlier, I'm going to go over here and we're going to look for simple lip. No, that doesn't work. Let's look for something else. Let's, let's just scroll through a couple of them. Um, the one we want is probably the one over here called 2D, right? Sprite lid default. Um, and having that done at that point, I should be able to see something, but obviously, obviously that's not the case. So, um, why is that? So even with the reboot, I couldn't seem to get this working. So maybe if we head over to edit project settings and we change our graphic pipeline over here, this might actually work. So right now it's set on none, which is kind of odd. Um, I'm going to be setting this on my 2D render. Oh, and there we go. Okay, now it makes more sense. Okay, <laughs> So we have to set our actual graphic pipeline. Now with that out of the way, you'll be able to find something of the sort. So right now my background is white. So that's why you see such a, um, a nice contrast. But if it, if it was black, you wouldn't be seeing anything, right? Um, I'll leave my background white for the moment being. And we're going to try and light this one up. So I'm going to head over to my level right click on it, create a new 2D, say global light. With a global light, it pretty much acts just like a directional light to some extent, but this one, you know, it's it's in 2D, so you don't really get to choose, you don't really have any any rotation thing, right? Um, I'm not gonna be using this one. Let's go for another type of effect. So if we go over here, light 2D, and we go with point light instead, well, that seems already a little bit more amusing, so let me go ahead and drag that over here. Um, as you can see, it doesn't actually care. Well, it actually cares about the Z axis. So you're going to have to be close enough to your object for it to light up. And then you'll end up with some sort of very, very nice subtle effect. We can see it over here in the game scene. We can't see it here so much because I'm stacking a couple of objects. But on this side over here, we can start seeing the light. And that is quite nice. So Let's see what kind of option we have. And I'm, I'm always looking on the left hand side over here if I want to have a proper result of what's going to be in the game. Um, not, not on the other one. So what do we have? Parametric. You also have freeform, which gives you the option to actually edit the shape and, and have, have it the way you want, really. <laughs> so my god rays over here, they could actually be put in some sort of corner like that. That'd be nice, actually. What else do we have? We have sprite so you could take the form of a sprite that's cool point light and of course the global so i actually like that quite a lot what i think i'll do is i'll run a global light with maybe a smaller intensity so something like that and then the the god rays are going to be lit up a little bit more just like so right now i actually like that quite a lot all right so i'm back with a little bit more of that composition there it's very subtle but there is a animation on this light i don't know if you guys can see it um, but it's like breathing animation. It's very, very hard to see. Um, you can also see that I've added some particles in the background that use the same, same shader. Um, when I mean shader, I mean the pipeline. So over here under my rendering, it's using the 2D rendering default shader. Um, or sorry, material. So that means that when they go inside of the light, they will receive light. <laughs> but when they, um, when they exit, you can see it better here on the left hand side you can barely see them anymore. So we can only see them very clearly once they're under the God Ray. And then after that, they're a little bit harder to see. If we bring them up closer though, we should be able to see them a little bit better. Yep, and then they fade out immediately as soon as the other light um, goes away. And that is pretty much it. That's where I'm going to end. There's a lot of things to experiment with this, including normal map. So there is normal map right now. I don't have any I can show. Um, and I don't think you, you can barely see them too. So. Um, I'm actually going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there is no package about this because it's really just something you install on your own. Go test it out, play with it a bit. Um, I think this is going to be quite fun to play around with, especially if you have like a 2D game with a cave in it. Uh, you can add some nice normal map, have somebody walk around with a torchlight or something of the sort. And um, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody who is subscribed on Patreon and also subscribe on YouTube, of course. I appreciate all of you that do spend um, some, some of your time here with me, helping me out with my YouTube channel, helping me out with the watch time, and also by liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, on top of that, if you'd like to download anything else that we've done here on the channel that is available, you can head over to the website and download it from there. So everything is live, all the comments are accounted for, everything is live, the XP goes up, so everything works. It took a while, but we got it working, guys. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.